Hi there, I am going to be solving today's New York Times crossword puzzle. So this is Monday, September 14th, 2020, and I'm going to speak my thoughts out loud as I solve this. And if you'd like to follow along, you should see the clues toward the top of the screen in red. Alright, let's hope for a good new week of puzzles. Insect that builds a paper nest. I have no idea. Paper nest? Uh, Mayberry boy. I think that's Opie? Equal. Uh, I don't know. Riddled with. I guess rife with? Um, let's not do the long one yet. Frozen H2O is ice. That's a Monday clue. Kitchen gizmo for flour. A sifter. Interesting. Each is a piece. Start of a tennis rally. A serve, right? Uh, people are saying is a uh, word is I really like that for a six letter slot that is colloquial and modern and um, and breathes life into this puzzle I like it I guess a wasp builds a paper nest nest that's new to me equal is um why don't I see this uh, peer I see it's still kind of a strange yeah relationship between those two words but I get it uh, major league team from the Motor City. So that's going to be Detroit. What is that? Tigers? People who've been watching this channel know I do not know much about sports, but I believe it's the Detroit Tigers, except this is an S, which I don't... Oh, swag. So it was. I was checking the this G, because that's the least common word in Tigers. The least common letter in Tigers, and uh, swag works, so now I'm happy with this answer. Okay, that's Toni Morrison. Part of a window blind is a slat. Yep. Lamented Princess of Wales, Diana. Okay, make legal is allow. Takes a breather is rests. Is all easy. Best of the best. Oops. Is elite. Um, Series XM, that's radio. Female deer is doa deer. Three time pro bowler, Odom Beckham Jr. I would have spelled that with, with one M though. Is it two M's? Interesting. Big shot for short, I guess. VIP. Variety. Huh. Is it? Oh, it's Odell. Oh, um, I'm wrong. Variety and ilk. Yep. Apologies. Okay. Ballot for candidates of more than one party. Huh. Split something, maybe? Not sure. Green fleshed fruit is kiwi. Humor is wit. Okay, Tiny Tim. Italian for seven, and that's gotta be like set day or something, right? Split, split something. Uh, French for here. I'm not sure I know that offhand. Uh, that is eco. Uh, maybe this? I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. TikTok? Split ticket. Yeah, fair enough. I'm not sure I like use this phrase, but I get it. It's definitely inferable. So we have split ticket and Detroit Tigers. One thing I see is ITTI in both of them. Don't know if that's the big secret, but still not seeing what the revealer would be or, or why that's, yeah, I don't know, I need more. Hold your horses. Uh, not sure, dine is eat. Oh, maybe it's an I, and this is another ITTI? Could that be? Sit tight, yeah. Okay, so it does seem like we're getting ITTI for some reason. Not sure why we're doing this, but I'm sure there will be some revealer to explain, to explain this madness. Enrico Fermi. I did not know the 100th element was named after him. Not quite right amiss, yep. Porker's Quarters. I like that clue. It's easy. It's uh, just like, I don't know. It's fun. Nevertheless, she persisted. You there. Hey. All right. What's this one? Item with crosshairs is a far sight. Is that what it is? Sin associated with green. No, that's envy. It's not a far sight. Did I make something up? Home of Carson City. That's Nevada. Okay. Figure of total. That's GNP. To ply, gun sight, okay. Logs for a fire is fuel, gun sight. I don't know how crazy I am about that long slot. It just feels a little, while I could see it sounding like a cool entry to put in your puzzle, 
it somehow um, doesn't come to life like gun sight. It's not like everybody is off like talking about their gun sights. I don't know. A narcissist has a big ego. Container at a beer bash is a keg. Keith Urban. Yep. Uh, that's iotas. Let's go to this side of the board. Uh, one that gives a hoot owl. That's a nice example of uh, mon the clue that's Monday easy but has um, you know cute misdirection anyway. I, it's you got to go easy on the misdirection on Mondays, but uh, I like it when it's I like a little bit of it. Being dead is O. Okay, what this should be an ITTI, right? I'm not even gonna. I didn't even look at the clue. I just knew from the remaining one. So it's wait time, number of minutes on hold before getting a customer service representative. Yep. Is it more than ITTI? Yeah, the I think it is just that's the common string among them all. Not sure why though. How a person might feel after being passed over for a promotion that's slighted. Slighted. All right, two-edged sword. Touchdowns. Uh, let's see. So here is our revealer. Comes out ahead in either case as exemplified. Huh. Comes out ahead in either case. Is it like win-win? Oh, has it both ways. I like that. Wow. I like that a lot. What a what a cute little like Monday theme. Way more interesting than a lot of simple Monday themes, but um, still still easy and appropriate. I really like this. What good movie trailers do? They tease. I like that clue. Sources of much spam bots. Yep. Minecart has ore in it. At no cost is free. BFF gave a meal to. Yep. Mallorca, that's an aisle. This puzzle is definitely Monday easy. Which is good. Something in the hand that's worth two in the bush. A bird. Uh, helpers are aids. Okay, so I guess it's since this is Spanish, or is it Spanish? What is it? Stage before, that's larva. Do, that's solve. Helper and conning is a shill. And book of maps is an atlas. Pre-college exam is the SAT. Yep. Very good, very good. RNA or DNA? I'm going to say RNA because I like the TR. Sent to another team. Traded. Yeah. Something an informant might wear is a wire. Good. Can I get a volunteer? Somebody? Anyone? I like that. I like that clue. Nuptial exchange or I do's. Jeans brand popular in the 80s. I don't know. Gambling Mecca. That's Reno. And that is Eden. And that was a very pleasant little Monday puzzle. Uh, so looking around I, I really like this theme uh i noticed the itti but i could totally imagine solving this and not noticing the itti at all um i could totally imagine not realizing that until the revealer and having a real aha moment although even though i noticed it i could not figure out what the revealer would be that would tie it together and has it both ways is a lovely a lovely way to uh to explain this itti combination um, you know, at the end of the day, it is kind of a hidden word theme, a hidden, hidden character string. And so if you're going to, and those are very old hat, but if you're going to have one, um, a, a tight revealer that kind of explains why you're hiding a character string inside a larger entry, explain it in a new way, a way that the solver hasn't seen before, that's, that's fresh and that that's enough to make an old theme fresh. And I think this definitely does. It has it both ways. I really like that explaining that it's, it's it and then it's it in the back going backwards. Um, so I'm a big fan of this theme uh, and the theme entries are, are all good Detroit Tigers is is totally legit I, um, even the oops, even the uh, short stuff sit tight and wait time are both very nice um, split ticket felt a little technical but still totally legitimate um, and has it both ways it's a perfect revealer so I, I really enjoyed this theme um, I also thought the fill was remarkably clean I mean this was definitely Monday easy and I can't see like anything that would give a new solver too much trouble. Maybe um, here in French could give some people trouble. Maybe some people don't know who Fermi is, uh, but I don't know, you know, I, I, got tri I got the wrong name here for a second, but really this thing was um, super smooth and clean. And I think um, you could see there are a lot of black squares in this puzzle, especially in the center where the theme entries really stack on top of each other. Look, there's wait time, split ticket, and sit tight all 
completely on top of each other. Um, even Detroit Tigers and has it both ways. Like there's only one one row in between every theme entry. Um, sometimes you get more than that. And, uh, and that is why we see all these black squares in the center to segment the grid off and make it possible to fill cleanly. And I think, you know, on a Thursday, somebody might not have wanted to put this many black squares um, because it's, you know, a little bit unsightly. But for a Monday, I think it's definitely the right call because we got super um, clean fill despite having a large pileup of theme material in the middle. So um, I think this was, this was smart filling by, by John. My one nit with this puzzle would be uh, that there's not a ton of great bonus fill. Um, basically the two longest entries in the puzzle are Slighted and Gunsight. I don't think either of these are particularly excited answers, uh, exciting answers. Um, they're both fine, neither of them is ugly, but uh, they're not, you know, they're not something you'd be proud to put in a themeless puzzle, for example, where you're really going for sizzly long stuff. So, um, you know, and these these corners were nice, uh, these, these, you know, th triple stacks of six letters, especially I think my favorite entry in the puzzle was Word Is, just because um, it feels very, I don't know, feels kind of modern. I'm not sure I've seen it in a puzzle before. Um, but other than that, it was sort of, um, again, probably because of the large number of black squares in this puzzle, there wasn't much room for uh, extra sizzle. And on a Monday, that's okay. I mean, the first thing you need to get right on a themed crossword puzzle is the theme. Um, that That's most important. That is, you know, uh, and then only after you nail the theme down do you try to maximize the interesting long fill while while insisting that the rest of the fill remain clean. And on a Monday, you have to really um, you sacrifice good long fill for cleanliness because that is that has to be a, an even higher priority on a Monday. So I, I understand. So I would say that this was a good start to the week. Uh, we got a genuinely original theme on uh, on Monday, which is kind of hard to do, and um, a very clean puzzle, and uh, I'm excited to see what Tuesday brings. So I will see you tomorrow. I make these every Monday through Thursday for the New York Times. And if you're new here and you'd like to see more of these, then clicking the red subscribe button below the video is the best way to keep in touch. And thank you so much for watching.